What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Connor Speed 6. Today we're going to be doing something that is a bit out of my comfort zone. Now anyone who knows me knows that I'm really not a big fan of NASCAR racing at all, really. I, I don't sit and watch races. I think they're kind of boring, honestly. But one of my patrons, Taku Racer, decided that he wanted to see me react to a NASCAR video, so he had sent me this. So he had requested to have me watch some NASCAR crashes. Those, of course, are going to be way more eventful than just driving around in a circle. Uh, so I figured I should oblige and dive into this NASCAR video for my first ever reaction to a NASCAR race video or any type of NASCAR racing of any kind. I am a rally racing lover at heart, open wheel race fan at heart, so IndyCar F1, rally racing when it comes to World Rally Cross or just the WRC. NASCAR is definitely not in my wheelhouse. Even though I live here in Indianapolis, Indiana, it's, it's one of those things where I've just never gotten into. I tried a little bit when I was younger with my dad and I just never kept riding the wave, I guess. I, it never stuck with me uh, as IndyCar, F1, and rally racing have. So before we get into that, for those who don't know me, I'm Connor Speed 6 I am a racing game YouTuber. I do a lot of racing on Forza Horizon and Forza Motorsport, as well as some of the dirt titles and f1 titles uh, so if you like that sort of content feel free to subscribe to the channel i do that as well as some of these reaction videos every once in a while sort of sprinkled in there but without any further ado let's not keep dragging this intro out let's get into the video now this video was done by tracker sorry trucker zane uh, i will have the link to this video down in the description below it has 16 million views and was released in 2013 so pretty good amount of views honestly so i would assume this is going to be a very old uh, or a video with a bunch of old crashes not so much new crashes uh, but still it's one of the highest viewed nascar crash compilation videos on youtube uh, but yeah let's jump into it and see what this is all about none of the wrecks you see in this video were fatal oh, there they go. There that's good cool. no oh, oh he rolled oh he always oh, on top of another car <laughs> Oh snap! Hold up, hold up. I got a, uh, that. That came in too hot. Okay, so car on the outside gets into car on the in. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, hold on. All right, so white car gets into yellow and black car, yellow and blue car gets into this car. Oh, he's that's bad luck. Hey, I know Jeff Gordon and Bobby Labonte. And Kurt Busch went over and over. Wow. Guy and running out of time. I mean, he's, you know, desperate. And, and you see the 36 move down just a little bit. And Yaley. Mm, squeezed him. And, uh, and Stenhouse Nothing you can do. He could squeeze by he, uh, next to the wall and he just couldn't make it. And this kid's ugly. Watch his thing. Hey. Hey, the right car did exist. Ryan Newman. Hadn't Ryan Newman had cars on top of him before here? I think uh, the 2009 <laughs> race. I think you're right. Brad Keselowski and Carl Edwards coming to the checkered flag. Boyer's 15 wow. comes up, clogs the track. Both Labonte brothers involved. Carl. So, hey, good thing about all that is the cars did exactly what they were supposed to do. They protected the driver. The roll cages were still intact. Even the car that rolled over, if you notice when it was rolling, it didn't like crush. Uh, the, the roll cage stayed firm. Uh, and, and save the driver's life, basically. All right, moving on. Edwards, he opened it up just a little bit. Ah, oh, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think uh, this is a hard lick right into the fence. I'm oh, shit. That oh, car, shit. That oh, shit. Bobby shit. Allison did here in 1987. That's Daytona, right? The catch fence did its job, Thank and goodness. the car did its job. Thank goodness we have the new, stronger, much stronger, safer uh, catch fences. But watch, the 09's going to look to the outside way Hey, he, hey, that was a nice move. Carl went up to block him a little bit. Now he's going to come. Mm. 99. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know names. I don't know names. 99 came down and tried to block that line, but it was too late. Down to try to block him again. And yep. you get one shot at it, but you don't get two. Yep. At first, when I first went, saw this happen, I thought that the 09 was at fault. It looked like he came up or just pit maneuvered him. But no, 99 came down on him. Oh, damn. This right here. Oh, my gosh. gosh. Woo! God, did you see how close that was? 
Unbelievable. To the fans. You know, and, and looking very carefully at the catch fencing that held, and I did not see any debris go into the grandstand. Uh, at, being here in Indianapolis, I've seen my share of very, very bad crashes at Indy. And uh, this is old, by the way. Um, I've seen a lot of people get really hurt in the catch fencing. You know, there's only so much that you can do, uh, unfortunately, whenever your car is flying through the air. But they've put a lot of different mitigation in place to keep, try to keep the cars down on the ground uh, rather than flying up into those catch fences like that because that's bad, especially for open wheel cars. You see wheels start flying off into the grandstands and killing people that way. Uh, but those cars, hey, the NASCARs, they're so big and bulky, they probably don't have that issue of just like, Completely shattering into a billion pieces like that and hurting people. So they did his job. Is that Dale Earnhardt? Hey, I know Dale Earnhardt. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit. Number three. They came off turn two. Pretty oh, sure yeah, he's flying. Car got into the back of the 22. Just riding a wave of a car. Daryl, I got to ask you here. What is Dude, there's... I know it's happening so fast, but what is Tony Stewart? And Tony Stewart goes for one of the wildest rides in recent memory of Daytona. Wow. So it looks like the Richard Petty crash here, back when Richard crashed off. Turn four down here, standing on Look, the Look, he's snow. got Bobby Labonte's hood. It was hooked to the back Sheesh. of his car as he was in mid-air. on fire. Stewart's trying to squeeze right there, in there. Eddie. He's he's shoving him. to the bottom. Oh, he he just wanted to touch him, man. Just wanted to touch him. Can't get him to the Look at this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Damn, boys. Oh, that was at the finish. And they're scattering everywhere as they come to the line. Some of these guys hit hard, man. And one of them was Kyle Busch. They're still hitting hard. Oh, we got some trouble down Jeez. the back stretch. Two cars, including Mark Martin, sliding through. Spun us down the back. Oh. Inside of the track in our first caution of the night now. I thought he was going to uh, save it. And, you know, it's it's one of those deals that's give and take. And I, 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 I don't think Matt thought it, that he was going to come up that quick either. He's driving really defensively right now. He's trying to keep. Okay, this this is the NASCAR that, I, that I've seen. It's just absolute freaking chaos on restarts and starts and and there's a lot of restarts from what i've seen but they're three wide possibly going to be four I, i'm assuming they're going to be four wide and everyone's literally just trying to squeeze the shit out of each other to get to the front and it's just absolute chaos behind him, which Jeff which is probably why people love it and i get it i get it i really do i get it Oh, he's bumping. Oh, no. Oh, Jeff. Around. Can he save it this time? Oh, there you go. <clears throat> he does. He saves it. But there's a hey, the M&M car saved it. Jeff Gordon's upside down. Jeff Gordon's upside down. Jeff started it, man. Kurt Busch's car is destroyed. The 24 started it. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's, uh, that's wild. That, too. He's in that backup car. You see Jeff down there. He just gets down on his left. He's bumping him. Yeah, so you can't be bump drafting people like that and too hard, especially. We've seen that time and time and time again. You got to stay off the left. Look at that driving, though. About that, though, man. How do we fix it? The drivers just have to make the decision that they've got to lay off that left side. Look at this long slide for Gordon. And that's Kurt Busch wow. tangled up with him and Jimmy Johnson. And that car still hasn't uh, lost much of its momentum as it goes side over side and comes to rest Michael on made its roof. A really good point, though, Mike. These cars are so much bigger than the cars were five years ago. They look huge. Oh, Watkins Glen. Oh, oh. wait, two. how'd that happen? Goodness. Again, like why? Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh yeah, that's a big one. That's a moment. Ooh, the red and white car about got, got it too. The six car. David Reagan. Oh. My goodness. Pretty good. Whether the team way too tight. Whether the team could switch points. He just said the car is way too tight. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. 
never seen anything like that in my life. He hit that wall. Is that seven oh, rolls? Oh my gosh. That was a very big impact. Let's count the rolls here. That's a part of the racetrack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A little bit, got a little too much into that speedy drive. Maybe seven. Oh, and there goes Jeff. Jeff's in the inside wall, hard into the wall. Caution will wave. Caution will wave. The field is frozen. We'll be coming back to four to go. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm probably gonna hurt some feelings right now. Jeff Gordon seems to be involved in a couple of these wrecks. A couple of these wrecks. Was old Gordo a... a, a, a that speedy drive. Was old Gordo an inducer of wrecking here in NASCAR? It looks like he came up on the 17's rear quarter panel and slid him sideways. Oh, and there goes Jeff. Jeff's in the inside wall. I mean... It's just what it looks like from an outsider. Jesus. Wow. looks like these guys get, you know, he just dove down. You can't do that, bro. Maybe I Yeah, that's really a strange. Too much moving. Matt did a good job not hitting that car, but then he got clobbered. Yeah, oh my god. Like how do you guys not see a car just, just slow down? These guys had run in the top 10 or 15 a lot tonight. I don't know. Oh, what a save. Oh, he should have kept it down there. Oh, that was stupid. A number of cars collected. You should have kept it down there like you have a choice. <laughs> oh, sorry. Just disregard me. And whenever you see a car coming back across a racetrack like that, you know it's going to be a bad deal. Wow. Travis Quaffle nowhere to go. Wow. Think about how great Biffle has been in recent weeks and simply Greg Biffle. nothing he could do about that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he got tagged. Uh, Kurt Busch went down on the apron. When he came back up on the racetrack, he got into the left rear of Brad. Nothing Brad come on, man. Except. At that point, Brad's for the ride, goes along for the ride, and tore up a lot. Like, of my dude came there. all the way off. Watch. The Watch. He's down. He's off the track. He's off the racing line. Goes down on the apron. And he's going to bring his ass back on the track in a dangerous manner and ruin this man's day. Sliding back up and he just turns Come the on, car. man. And it, it's, it, it is a very harsh transition. We saw it during some of the qualifying laps. A harsh mm. transition from, um, from the flat up to the race, back up onto the racetrack. Side outside. Watch the, uh, Stewart to the lead at the white flag. We're on the last... Hey, Indiana boy, Tony Stewart. Were they four wide? One, two, three, four wide. Where is this? Four deep behind Stewart and Kenza. Yeah, Kevin Harvick's got some real help coming towards the front here. That's a big ass racetrack. Talladega. This, hey, this is going to be bad. Into the picture. Push this is going to be bad. I see pushing already. Oh, Tony. Oh, Tony gets pushed. Yep. Oh, Tony, he came down. He came down on the car that was on his, on his inside. Uh, probably just assuming he was going to block and that he had space. Didn't have space. Oh, shit. Damn, he's still getting pinballed around. <laughs> and a huge wreck to end this race. Matt Kenseth uh, is going to get to the finish know. line first. That's now, here wild. It is. Waltrip in the 55, Mears in the 13. Oh, Stewart man, he had a run, too. Dixie, Tony. 50, 55 had a big run, and Tony got Just nervous. Tried to block it, shut the door. To get back down. Harvick and Kenseth on the outside had a run, so they were literally going to go by him on both sides. Watch the two. Wow. The championship leader somehow avoided getting really torn up in that. So he looked like Martin Truex was going to get through there. Bobby Labonte caught him right at the end. 
know what I love as a driver. You're driving down on the inside. You're in that two car. You're leading the race. Jay Sauter, and everything's going fine. You think you're in the right place, doing a good job. All of a sudden, a bunch of cars go by you on the outside. <laughs> and you're you still wide open. Say, roll, roll, what? Oh, oh trouble. boy. The man. two car upside down over and onto Scott Riggs. It's the big one. Oh, boy. Who is that still flipping? Sauter. It was Johnny Sauter. There's not anybody left. I mean, I only see about four or five cars. Oh, the that are whole track is blocked. Right now, they were not in this race. They see Mike McLaughlin in 18. They're still getting upside down. People, cars driving under cars. I, I'm, I'm so confused by this. I guess this is what I really just don't. I don't know. I guess I just don't understand. If you see a massive pileup of cars spinning in front of you and you're down the track, don't you slow down? These cats were still driving into the cars. You're still driving into a massive plume of smoke. About four or five cars that are coming around. Through Boom, three hit a car. Right now. Boom, hit a car. Right. They see Mike McLaughlin. I mean, do they not see it? Are their spotters not telling him, hey, there's 17 cars blocking the road in front of you. They're still getting upside down people, cars driving under cars. I don't know. Sometimes to me, NASCAR, and this is, this is, I'm going to get, I'm going to get destroyed in the comments, I'm sure. But sometimes to me, NASCAR seems Real amateurish. Real amateurish. I don't know. Double moving, blocking people, pit maneuvering people like this. Cars not realizing that the entire racetrack's blocked and just keep driving. I don't know. I don't know. You don't see, you don't see IndyCar races or F1 car races having 17 cars wreck in one wreck. Like, it just doesn't happen. So. I don't know. I'm not judging the sport, but based on my limited knowledge of the sport and what I've seen and watching this, it just looks amateurish to me. I see the draw and I see how people could really enjoy it and love it. I don't know. I just, for me, for me, I don't, I don't know. This is, that's, this is kind of a reason I can't get down with it. has to be 25 cars over there. Climbing out, he's okay. Let's Watch the two car. cause this. Oh, Meal got into Riggs. It looked like Riggs had to maybe back out of the throttle a little bit because know. Kenny Wallace's car washed up as they come off the exit of turn two right there, the 48 car. Okay. Right here, this is turn two. Kenny Wallace, the 48 car right there. So the car behind the yellow oh, car I think, I don't know. pushed it like the Shane yellow Meal car. Possibly just got into the, back down of the into 10 the two. car. The 47 yeah. car, yeah. Yeah, got into Riggs. Look at that two flipping. Looks oh, like Rusty boy. Wallace's flip in the number two. See, Tony Stewart just bull his way through there to get an opportunity. And he's going to have it, too. Final corner at Daytona. Who's going to get here Daytona first? Daytona again. Regan Smith, seven. Keselowski, 22. I can already, I already know what's going to happen. 33. I knew it. And contact. Just the same Smith shit every Turner. single time. Tony Stewart is going to win this race. And a terrible crash coming to the finish. It's the same thing every time. The cat behind him's bump drafting him too hard and he spins him around. They both get out. Couple people go through, end up winning the race, and then everyone behind the wreck is out. Kyle Larson's car with the front end severely torn off. <laughs> it's like watching, it's like watching a, a movie where you've already guessed the ending uh, in the first like 10 minutes. Yeah, I don't know. That's 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 what I see in NASCAR. Like that's how I see NASCAR right there. I don't know, but that was wild seeing all these crashes and actually seeing four wide, five wide sometimes depending on the track. Talladega, that track at Talladega looked massive, like insanely massive. That was a big, big track. Uh, big shout out again to Trucker Zane. Uh, I appreciate him uploading this video. I'll go ahead and have it uh, down in the description below. So if you guys want to watch it. Uh, head over and support him. Uh, yeah, again, that's not going to really change my outlook on NASCAR. We're going to have to do a little bit better than that. Uh, if you have any good recommendations for some videos that I should watch that show real good racing in NASCAR, please, please recommend those down below. Don't share links because it doesn't get posted on the uh, in the YouTube comments section for me to see. Uh, send me the names and titles of the videos and I'll be sure to check them out. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave me a like, a positive comment down below, and be sure to subscribe for more weekly content like this and weekly racing game content from multiple different racing game titles, mostly Forza Horizon and Forza 
motorsport. Hopefully we're going to get some motorsport content very, very soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Yes, but that's going to do it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I have been Connor Speed 6. Until next time, much love, everyone. See you soon.